I'm Amber Qualigare and I'm at the RTDN Awards here with Ben and he is from WFAE. This is your first award for the RTDNA Awards, correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got to this stage? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I did a story and then they gave it to me, which was great. Um, I'm, I'm at the NPR affiliate down in North Carolina and there is, uh, we had massive protests at the state capitol um, just a few hours away from us. And so I went up there to document them. We had hundreds of people getting arrested um, in acts of civil disobedience, kind of flooding into the state capitol and refusing to leave. Uh, essentially protesting uh, the the legislature that's in there. Uh, it's a conservative legislature, and uh, so the sort of more liberal uh, wing of the state had, had organized protests. And um, they, they, they started to get national attention. And so I went up there, and the, the take was a little bit different, I think, from your usual protest story, which was the essentially we looked at sort of the process of the protest. Um, the, the way that it's organized, this coordination that kind of had developed over the course of weeks, because they'd been happening over weeks, between the protesters and between police, so that police were ready with their zip tie handcuffs. And protesters were wearing, uh, that wanted to be arrested, were wearing wristbands. Police would tell people, hey, if you don't want to be arrested, you know, move over to the side here, and if you do, go over here. And so I, I think that, that the idea was to sort of bring people into sort of the organization of it. Uh, and so we thought it was a little bit different from what most people have done, and that we, we think that may be why, why it stood out. So I heard over 80 people were actually sent to prison because of this. Did you get to witness most of that? Yeah, so, so the day I was there, we had about 80 people arrested. Over the course of the protests, you had, because they happened essentially every Monday over the course of months, and you had um, more than 1,000 people arrested. Which is why it's called More Mondays, correct? Yeah, that's right. Great, and you can listen to him on 90.7 WFAE.